Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at let and const, which are new declarations in ES6 that uh, allow us to define variables in different ways than with the old var method. All right, and let is actually set to replace var. So with let we can have block level scopes, meaning that if we declare a variable in the global scope and then we go and we redeclare that same variable in let's say a loop or an if statement it's going to be completely different it's going to be on its own scope all right which is um, something that a lot of javascript developers have have thought was a pain in the ass for a long time now so this is a really nice feature and um, yeah let's just go over it real quick all right so what i have here is just my development environment i'm using chrome 50 which basically has all the functionality all the uh, compatibility with es6 um, we're using strict mode so you want to make sure you say use strict up at the top uh, i do have an index html file here uh, and then i have a style css if you want to just copy that but it's not needed at all because we're mostly be working in the console all right so let's start with the global scope all right so let's take the old way we would say var we'll create a variable called a and we'll set it to test one we can go console.log a and of course we get test one okay now we can also use let so we'll say let b equal test two and then let's console log B. And of course we get test two. So on the global scope, var and let are pretty much the same. All right, so let's comment that out. And now what I want to do is I want to create a couple functions. Okay, this one we're going to call test var. And what we'll do is we'll use var and we'll create a variable called A and we'll set that to 30. Okay, then what we'll do is have an if statement. So we'll just say if true, then we want to say var a equals, oops, equals the number 50. All right, and then what I'm going to do is console.log a, and then I'm also going to do it outside of that if. All right, now if you've been developing JavaScript for a while you probably know what's gonna happen if I reload oops I gotta run the function first and if I reload we get 50 and 50 so why is that it's because right here we set a to 30 on the global scope level all right now when we said this if true we set var a to 50 okay we console log a which is obviously 50 now down here it it was also 50 because basically this i'm sorry this changed it this changed this a from 30 to 50 so down here we get 50 again all right and this this like i said has been a pain in the ass for a long time now so now let's take a look at what let allows us to do so we'll say function test let and let's say oops we want to say let instead of var set that to 30 and then we'll do a quick if statement okay if true then we're going to set var a to uh, 50 console log Okay, so let's go ahead and change this to run test let. And you may know what's going to happen if I reload. We get an error, uh, which that was not supposed to happen. Oh, because I used var. Reload, and now we get 5030. Okay, so let's take a look at why this happened. So we set a to 30, okay, right inside the function. Then we had an if statement. And then we set a to 50 we console log this and it gave us 50 now when we come back out of that if statement and we console log it it's now pertaining to this this one because it's on the same scope okay so then we got 30 so this did not change this all right and i think that um 
that just makes things a lot easier and makes it work more like a high level programming language. All right, now we're not limited to just if statements. We can use things like loops. So for example, um, let's create a for loop. And in this for loop, we're going to say var i equals zero. And we'll say as long as i is less than 10, then we want to i plus plus. Okay, we want to increment by one. And all we're going to do in here is console log i. All right, and then down under the for loop, I'm also going to console log i. Okay, now we'll save this and let's run it. And you can see we get 0 through 10. If I don't log this i right here, we're going to get 0 through 9. All right, now the reason that this happens is because this i relates to this i here, even though it's inside the for loop. But if we went and we used let, okay, if we run that, that's fine, we get 0 through 9. But if we try to use it outside of its scope, reload, we get an error saying i is not defined. All right, because this is not now on the same level as this. And that's what let does. All right, and we'll be using let throughout these videos. So what I'm going to do now is comment all this out. And I will have the, the code available for you very soon. And then we're going to take a look at const. So the, the need for const is that if we set something, it's going to be a constant. It's not going to be a variable, meaning that if we try to set it again, we're going to have issues. All right, so what we can do is say const, and let's say colors. We'll set this to an array. Then we can do things like colors.push, and we'll say red. Oops. Colors.push. say blue and then we'll do a console.log for colors save that and we get red and blue all right now if i go and i try to say colors equals and now i'll set it to green which is just a string all right if we go and save that and reload we're going to get an error saying assignment to constant variable all right, because this colors cannot be changed. It can be pushed to because we're just adding to the array. But if we actually try to change the whole thing, then it's going to throw an error and it's not going to work. All right, so that's the use for const. So hopefully that's clear to you guys. So like I said, I'll be using let throughout the, the videos in this course. Um, but yeah, so that's it. In the next video, we're going to take a look at classes and class inheritance.